Hey folks, it's time for yet another custom lesson. This one has been requested by Smash. Guardian Spirit, any brute, and then a feral or a phantom as a secondary. Soul cores will be Mogatsu and Itsumare, the weapons will be sword, and in my case, the secondary will be the hatchets. And notice this time Smash did not want fist or claws because reasons. Enemy will be Shibata Katsui later, so let's get on to what I am working with. So let's get to the equipment. Demon Horde Katana, Corruption, Life Drain Active Skill, and my bonus on Grapple is great. Again, these are not necessary. The reason I have the anima bonus on grapple is simply because it just helps with custom lessons me making them. Then I don't have to like ensure cream of the crop farming and whatnot for my soul cores. But you can always just use an Archiokai talisman and not have to worry about it. Demon Horde Hatchets, really good ones for me. Corruption, Life Drain Active Skill, it has a great start stat of skill key damage. Um, and yeah, this is basically how I like to play. But yeah, not so much in the power realm as much as utility realm. But let's get on to the Guardian Spirits and what I chose. Starting with the Brute, Makami. So Makami is an all-purpose great Guardian Spirit. You can't ever really go wrong with it. Many players do dislike the low attunement, but I make good use of it. So let's start with the Soul Cores in question. Magatsu Warrior, for sure. I put it on here because the Anima Charge bonus, double A, works perfectly on Brute or Phantom Spirits. So on a Brute, it works beautifully. Get it to rank 30. This is awesome. Can't go wrong with this. And Yokai Ability Key Pulse is all I cared for. I happen to find extra Anima, which is great. Next, I went with kind of a niche soul core, Maelstrom Fox Spirit. So I really wanted to emphasize the ability to set up all sorts of attacks, and Maelstrom Fox does just that. It is one of the lowest soul core, uh, sorry, one of the lowest costs uh, for anima for soul cores at three. There's basically like nothing less except maybe Norikabe at two, and there's a couple others that contest at three. But the setup factor is very important when it comes to your gameplay with Neo. And I think many players don't really tap into that as opposed to like, unga bunga, let me do super fast things. Ironically, sometimes playing slower can make the fight so much easier, especially when you're going, coming from a combo dimension. This is yet another soul core. I would generally recommend boosting. The life drain water attack is great, but as you can see, I didn't prioritize that too much. But if you do play with water-based elements, which we're going to get to soon enough, uh, I would advise ranking it up. All I cared for was Yokai ability key pulse. The water damage is coincidental. Next, we have Onudo. So again, in terms of raw pressure, Onudo is quite good, and it inflicts elemental-based things, and it's pretty nice. Um, I boosted up the rank to kind of test out the anima bonus elemental attack. If you do say weave in Onibi soul cores, uh, it can be handy. But yeah, it's there's nothing wrong with this. I know many players don't necessarily like it, but Hey, it's a free anima bonus, might as well boost it up to 30. But for sure, get Mogatsu up as high as possible. All I cared for was Yokai ability key pulse. Um, there's some fancy Onudo tech, which I'll show. Um, it's also in my Soul Core guide. I don't know when that's going to come out. When it comes to the secondary Guardian Spirit, I went Feral. Feral is awesome. And I thought, hey, I'm going to use Maelstrom Fox Spirit. And I'm going to use Itsumare. So what can complement water stuff? And what has a reasonably powerful Guardian Spirit attack? And yeah, so I went with Yanahime. Anima bonus saturated enemy by default. So I'm gonna want a source of water and that brought me to going with Suiki. Uh, Suiki is very quick in terms of applying water and we get to take advantage of two anima bonuses. So the first time we saturate an enemy and anytime they're saturated and we're wailing on them, we can get a bunch of anima back. So that's awesome. Definitely recommend getting this up to 30. I cared for Yokai Ability Key Pulse. It was nice to get Yokai Ability Damage All, which is going to feed into the other Soul Cores. Also, Anima Charge and Yokai Shift is pretty impactful, especially in Yokai Shift, because it says Yokai Shift. And yeah, it's nice to be able to charge up your Yokai Abilities that much sooner. But yeah, quick cancel core, a lot of fun. Next, of course, Itsumare was specifically requested. 100% get this up to rank 30 without a doubt. Uh, these stats are pretty awesome for me. The Life Drain Yokai Ability hit is ridiculous. Yokai Ability Key Pulse is awesome. You don't need the max Yokai Ability Key damage, but I was just fortunate to find an Itsumare core like this. 
corruption accumulation is fantastic and i do use corrupted weapons so yeah for sure rank 30 for this and for sui key last but not least i wanted a gap closer that was a quick cancel core yamamba is fantastic and it gives you 50 percent damage boost for a few seconds what's well, not to love um, if you want to boost this up feel free to go for it the grapple damage and the movement speed yokai shift should not be underestimated but yeah this setup is pretty powerful and i'll just show you some things you can do let's start with yokai shift to show you what is possible so brute might probably feel the most awkward but we'll get to that momentarily come on please hit a weak spot thank you all right so how would i start Well, target's dead. When it comes to Mogatsu and Onudo, they're quite a commitment. But Mogatsu generally is considered safer to use compared to Onudo. I would only use Onudo if their target's low on key, or if they're confused and low on key, or if uh, your animation is for Yokai Shift is close to ending. Oh, got grabbed. See, like, risks like that can feel bad. So make sure you plan your own Gilki use. Sorry, uh, own Yudo use. But what about Feral? Feral is super powerful. You'll probably get addicted to using this more than anything, given its crazy amount of power action. All right, so I would recommend, if possible, starting up like this. So you can get damage right away. But of course, you got to be a little careful. Oh well, target's dead. The fact that you can... Here, let me see if I can show it off. So Yamamba will give you 50% damage boost. And then you can squeeze it in. And then you usually can nail that grapple and see they're dead. It just boosts your, just boosts your damage so much. It's pretty crazy. And then Suiki is something you can kind of fill in kind of interrupt targets, charge up, excuse me, so yeah, it can be very devastating. Alternatively, if you're not comfortable with Itsumata, you can always do the charge. You can just use Yamanba right away. Oh! But yeah, Itsumata is definitely a big, big power play. Yeah, it's, it's pretty, it's very powerful. But let's just show how to incorporate these soul cores because naturally some of them can feel a little awkward to incorporate. I know, for example, Itsumare generally gets considered kind of weak at eight anima, but I'm gonna tell you it's far from that. Even just on its own, it is still pretty good. All right, so the earliest possible opportunity, I'm gonna use Itsumare. Not bad. Itsumare though is a fantastic anti-yokai uh, soul core because if they generate even a single pool, they'll do significantly more damage. Um, you don't necessarily want to generate your own. You can pair it with things like, um, whatchamacallit, uh, Tataramoki, and it's effective, don't get me wrong. But here, let's just watch it detonate two pools. That was pretty ridiculous. So yeah, it's, it's pretty wildly powerful. And then I'm sure you can imagine the moment you get confusion up using say Suiki and Itsumare, provided you have the anima, which you kind of should have enough. It can be pretty ridiculous. All right, so I'm not gonna get the grapple. I'm gonna wait for him to come up and then let's use Itsumare and he should just die. <laughs> pretty darn close. So yeah, the, the aspect of being able to saturate an enemy and confuse them with its amata is no small amount. So let's weave that in. So what about soul cores like Maelstrom Fox? Whoops. My recommendation for the core in general is just to have a little bit of distance. And I think Hatchets is gonna encapsulate that beautifully. So it can be tricky, but it's a very effective core at three anima. Ah, 
Not bad. Not bad for three anima. The water application may not be anything remarkable, but again, it's three anima. That is basically nothing. Look at that. Not bad, huh? Onudo is going to be the harder one to use, in my opinion. Simply because it's not the best against humans, in my opinion, because once they're out of key, it's not like Onudo can hit the ground. If they're blocking, it's okay. Like, let's just see. Like, it, it was okay, but it just didn't feel as uh, noticeable. Dude, <laughs> he got back up. I didn't expect that. All right, let's try it against a, a Yoki, though. So, yeah, hopefully just working with those soul cores and seeing how they can be used can make using them seem a bit more appealing because I understand why they may not be seen as, like, amazing or anything. But here's, like, when I would actually use it. And it's really not too bad. So yeah, try that out for size. Uh, when it comes to Mogatsu Warrior, I think most players have a general understanding how best to use it. So using it at a range, I mean, it's okay. But its real power comes in at close range. But you gotta have the animal to spend, you know? Just basically zero key combo a target. All right, and then we've got Yamanbo, which is a lot of fun. So Yuki, I think, will be fairly intuitive. Very nice. I'm dead. Yeah, getting that on-demand 50% damage boost as a gap closer always feels spicy. Let's, show, let's uh, do a few other things, and then I'll call it here. Dang it, too far. And you're so screwed, man. Yep. All right, a uh, few more things. All right, come here. I got an idea. Come on. That's, that's not the idea. Fine, we'll try this again. Attack, dude. Stupid beam. One, one more time, one more time. I'm not satisfied with this with this chain of events. Come here. Oops. Okay, you know, I guess I, I tried. I tried. Maybe a Yoki will be nicer to me. Okay, let's try the other cores. Okay, what about my fancy Onudo tech? So, prime the guardian spirit, the yokai stuff, stances, and then at the same time, we're gonna activate the yokai ability and switch guardian spirits, all right? And we got water punches. Almost forgot about that. So yeah, let me show it to you once more. Yokai ability, stance, 
And then I'm gonna activate the Yokai ability and switch Guardian Spirits at the same time. That activated Suiki. <laughs> That's not what I intended. Okay, so normal on Yudo. And then let's do the whole fancy stand switching stuff, whatever. And look at that. Water on Yudo. So you got access to that. One more combo then. Okay, let's go. Take some punches to the face, dude. Let's try it again. Let's try it one more time. All right, that was really cool. Oh, here, enjoy. Bye-bye, overkill. All right, I think that's enough. I will see you guys soon enough. Alrighty, let's put this to the test against a purple Shibata in a Scroll of the Damned. So this was actually quite a lot of fun. Let's start off with Itsumare. Watch this. Boom! Gone. Exploded. So again, whenever enemies have Yokai pools, use them to detonate Itsumare and it works beautifully. It can sometimes just absolutely destroy opponents and you're gonna see this. There is no real exception to this. It's nice to have access to confusion courtesy of all these soul cores and this red wire out does not really stand a chance. And so it can feel phenomenal to work with this. This is a very powerful elemental based setup and I'm showing you how you can weave in all of these soul cores and do some great combo action. It's a lot of fun. Now you may think, hey, well, Aberrant Soldiers, aren't they kind of weak? Well, hey, what about a Yoki? You <laughs> just took out nearly half of its health, dude. Half of its health. Oh, you see all these little guys? Guess what's gonna happen? Oh, you know what's gonna happen. Boom! Bye-bye. Yeah, it's a is a lot of fun if you know how to use it right. So make sure you're using it to detonate enemy yokai pools and magic will happen. And it's a great time. So we're already at Purple Shibata. Uh, he's pretty tanky. Um, Hatchets is actually very effective against him. I was and I was trying to break his tusk, but he just didn't do the attacks that uh, in time for me to really counter him, but I'll get there. All right, dodgy, dodgy, dodge. Looks cool, all right? Ultra instinct dodges. All right, get a nice charge. Take great advantage of this, all right? Try to stick to his back. The fight gets a lot easier if you do that. Oh, oh, okay. See how I can just basically avoid all those attacks? Oh, and then even get out Itsumare. Look at that damage from Itsumare against a purple enemy. So very effective, again, if you know how to use it right. Oh, I missed that. That's okay. Let's get some anima back. All right, he's charging. Ooh, woke that horn. Oh, delicious. Let's get him confused. Excellent, excellent. Switch in some other attacks. Very nice. Get the Yamanba and then into Yokai Shift. Wow, good chunk of damage. Very good chunk of damage. So, all right. Yanahime into Itsumare does a good chunk of damage. Not too bad. Ooh, charge, break the horn. But unfortunately, um, he hit me as well, so I lost Yokai Shift. And that kind of threw me off. But I've got Saturate on him, which can make this fight that much more bearable. The fight is significantly more difficult if you are not in the habit of breaking his horn. Because, yeah, he'll just like regenerate his key even though you feel like you've gotten it to zero. Uh, but if you break his tusk, it gets phenomenally easier. So yeah, I'm making good use of things like Maelstrom Fox, which is pretty handy. Late on that burst attack, which is okay. So I mix in my Deadly Spiral. Look at this. Ooh, broke all of that max key. It's delicious. Ooh, very nice. Bogatsu Warrior has a great pressure finish. And then let's go. Oh no, missed the grapple. That's okay. Use it, Sumade. Oh, let's detonate stuff. Oh, it didn't work too well. But that's okay. I've already inflicted corruption a ton, so I don't expect corruption to be inflicted too often. But yeah, I'm doing a lot of good work. I'm constantly confusing him, putting out all sorts of pressure. And then, am I gonna set up Itsumare? All right, let's see. And oh, I didn't detonate the other one. That sucked. Oh, I missed that burst attack. That's okay. Just staying behind him, avoiding the attacks. Ooh, on Yudo, the one one of the few times I use it, it does a good amount of max key damage. Not necessarily like the best, but it's pretty good. Magatsu is really good for that at close range, so it was really effective overall. All right, so let's go in, throw in some hatchets, very nice. Let's deplete even more key, trying to set things up. All right, what you doing now? Oh, okay, you're doing this fancy attack. All right, so my turn, let's go in. Let's do that. Mogatsu Warrior for superb pressure. It's such a good power play. Just gotta be close range and no one to use it. 
And then, yeah, let's uh, keep some kick-ass action going. Look how I'm setting things up. And then really sequencing all sorts of power plays. That can be a lot of fun. All right, he's drinking Dragonfly. I'll do Demon Undercut. All right, what you doing next? All right, you're doing Deadly Spiral. All right, I'm gonna wait, and then let's go in. Deplete some key. Oh, very close. Oh, 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 ooh. That was a little scary, I have to admit. I used it some lot, I kind of just like panic used it, but look, it still did a good amount of damage, even then, even if the, the status accumulation wasn't the best, and I took a bit of a risk there, and then I just went to see, okay, shift. I was just trying to like style on him a little bit. It was kind of fun. But yeah, obviously I didn't have to take that risk. I could have used hatchets. And then let's go. And then I was trying to use Onudo to finish. And then it just didn't work because his tracking isn't the best. So I'm like, all right, you know what? Come here, boy. Come here, boy. Bonk. You're dead. <laughs> so it was still effective and a lot of fun. In any case, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope this was informative and helpful. And I will, of course, see everybody backflip next time. Yeah.